What's up, hey, y'all? Welcome to another car conversation. And I'm here this time with my husband. You're getting a lot of features on Girl Define lately. So How very, do you feel about I that? I feel very honored. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you like it? You want to become a regular? Uh, I've enjoyed <laughs> these videos. So we were talking and trying to figure out what we wanted to share with you all in this car conversation, and we came up with an idea. Yeah, we want to uh, tell you a little bit about our communication uh, in our marriage, because don't you all want to know about that? Okay, I have I've shared a couple times on here, but never with you my thoughts on like mm -hmm. fighting in no, marriage, no. fair fighting, all of that stuff, which I'm very passionate about, and I feel like you are yes. too. And so, yes. I mean, we only have like a couple fights a day, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She jokes. This is not. This so, is not. when you hear like communication, marriage, uh -huh. fighting, I don't know, whatever, like, do you have any thoughts that come to mind? Anything um, that you want to share or in that whole realm, whatever, you can take it any angle. Um, yeah. I, you know, back when we were reading um, marriage material, <laughs> not, that, <laughs> <laughs> not that you should ever stop, but I think we have <laughs> a little bit. We Slow down a little bit. Read some more stuff. Uh, but we read or listened to the book Love and Respect yeah. uh, by, I think, Emerson Egrick or something Edridge, like that. Yeah. Edridge? Egrich, whatever Edric. his name is. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. <laughs> and uh, he talks, he uses this illustration of stepping on each other's air hoses. Oh, yeah. And so you can get into this sort of vicious cycle of a rela your relationship that's what he he talks about where you could basically it's like but you both have an air hose and the idea is that you both want to are like breathing out of you know from that air hose but yeah. when you treat we treat each other in a certain way we can start to step on each other's air hoses and his his structure in the book is you know um men generally uh you know need want respect and uh, women generally need want love that's that sort of idea so that's that's what he talks about but the yeah. the general idea of the stepping on the air hose I, I i have that in my mind a lot and really? i think that works for other relationships yeah too but um the three things i would say that you do so hey. well <laughs> This wasn't supposed to be a session. in connection well it's not necessarily three things it's three it's kind of like three three steps um I was thinking about this because uh -huh. this means this means a lot to me. I know I'm monopolizing here, but this is just what Bethany does. Uh, so sweet. So f first, she makes she makes me feel like when I share with her, like you make me feel like you're listening unjudgmentally, mm -hmm. and like I can share basically. I just share my heart, share you know where my thoughts, feelings, emotions are at, and you give me the safe place. And it's very unjudgmental, and so then that that makes me uh, both want to share more, but it also means uh, that when you have something to share, I'm just like naturally, I feel so loved, so respected, so like you've given me such a place mm -hmm. to thrive that I naturally uh, want to be understanding to you and, and love you, and so, so when sweet. a conflict sort of thing comes up it's almost like it's that groundwork of just how you've treated me that in so many ways allows me to feel uh, just more naturally inclined mm -hmm. to not just discount your view or your opinion, uh, but be like, well, she's listened to me non-judgmentally. Maybe I can do the same sort of thing. And like, you know, it's possible that um, it's most likely that you have information and perspectives that I absolutely don't have or am blind to. So, mm, that's so I funny. think that really helps. That's really, really sweet. What about you? Um, are you going to share the other two later? The other two? Points. Okay, so I, I said three. I try to do the three points, but I, I mostly just jumble them into one. It's mostly you give me a you give me a place to drive uh, and you listen non Uh That leads to me uh, feeling... Um, yeah, cared for and respected, and then that means that the the next time you're you share with me, I'm just naturally emotionally more likely mm. to. Uh, so sweet. To be. I mean, yeah. when he says three things that are going to be compliments, I don't want to let him go. Oh, those. <laughs> I realize I I said compliment. I meant more like three 
steps. I take them as huge compliments. That's so sweet. I don't think but, I'm mature enough to do the rule of three yet. Oh, I'm I don't still, even know. <laughs> I'm still working on that. I think the biggest thing is like, we, I mean, we talked about communication and we grew up in similar homes where like, you know, we had somewhat like healthy versions to build off of. So we had some tools coming into marriage where we, we didn't feel like, wow, I'm starting from ground zero or the only thing I know how to do to resolve conflict is to like give the silent treatment or blow up or fight back, you know, like we had some tools. So we were really, I think both blessed in that way. I just spit a lot. Um, and so I think for me, um, coming into marriage and then being married to you, um, well, <laughs> I feel really spoiled because you're extremely patient, extremely kind, and like a peacemaker and like a diff diffuser. A diffuser? <laughs> a diffuser, not like an essential oils diffuser, but you know, like diffuses any feelings that I have where it's like, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. You're just like a very calm, peaceful presence. And so the, I think that- The late night FM DJ voice. Yes from Chris Voss. So. And that's an amazing thing for me because I can be like very blunt and very black and white and very much like get into my way. And so when you treat me so kindly and softly and gently, it like totally like, so I feel like you help me to become the woman that I really okay. want to be. And so that's like my that's biggest really cool. takeaway like from this conversation. And <laughs> what I would want to share with you is like, help the person become the type of communicator that you want them to become. Just like, mm -hmm. I I want you to feel heard. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel listened to. I want your ideas to feel respected. Even if my, in my head I'm thinking like, hmm, I'm not sure about that. It's like, I don't need to express that in the moment. I want to listen and make you feel more valuable than what my response is, you know, right. and the same for you. It's like, you help me to feel so cared for and like, you're so patient and kind. And so it's like, wow, I feel so loved and just mm. that feeling can change so much within communication, you know? So. Aww. Thanks, babe. So we love each other. <laughs> Honestly, I I didn't really have much much more to say except that she's, she does, a, you do a really, mm. really good job of making our home a place that I love to be a, be a part of. That's so sweet. I mean, the truth is whether you're single or married, like you can start putting and learning communication skills that will serve you long into the future. There are so many amazing books that will help you and there these are things that will last like you don't if you're like but I'm not married or and I'm not in a relationship it's like this is you can learn and grow in ways that really will serve you so much if you do end up getting married and this is an area that I want to grow a lot in I've mentioned before but mm -hmm. I'm very slowly reading through how to win friends and influence people and yeah. it's like practical skills that yes. like really help you you know and yes. so I think what you said like learning and growing and can pick up a few more marriage books and we should probably do that continue on i just think it's like you have to communicate all the time and so um it's something i definitely want to grow in but i'm really grateful i'm married to someone who is really committed to that and helps um, me in that i feel the same way <laughs> feel the same way any final words to our friends on this talk on the station i was thinking i don't know what you'll think about this i was thinking of this uh metaphor okay and i i don't know if i'm good at metaphors but here goes so if love if love is like a garden, then the the soil is trust, and we water the soil of trust with the water of communication. <laughs> and the more we water the soil with communication, the more trust is enriched, and the faster and more our uh, relationship grows into the garden of love <laughs> that it can be. What do you think? Beautiful. Huh? Huh? You should write a book. <laughs> you should start a podcast, The Garden oh, of Trust. The Garden of, of the Soil of Trust. I can tend to... to what? <laughs> to no. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for folks. <laughs> go, go for it. Go no, on. no, you, they want to hear you. Oh, I may have forgotten my thought. <laughs> I was just gonna say that well, last thing and then we'll go, is that I'm really spoiled because I have a man who loves to talk and loves to communicate. And so- As you can tell. <laughs> I, um, it's like we love pillow talk at night and we oh, love yes. communicating. I, I really enjoy it. We like pillow, pillow talk, talk and pillow kissing. All right, until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.